when you travel along a path such as uh, the one I have traveled, you must have hope. You can't afford to give up. One of her really principal um, hopes and dreams was that each one of us would appreciate the power within ourselves to bring about change from wherever we were. And I think that's one of the greatest lessons of my mother's life is that each of us, that if one person, if she as an individual could be such a potent example of what one person can do, imagine if we all did our little thing. She chose to be positive all the time, saying what people should do. So she didn't dwell on the negative. I would like her to be remembered particularly for her courage. She was really just saying, we need justice. We need, we need a, a, a country of justice, a country of peace, a country of opportunity for everybody. That, that's the greatest lesson that I learned from her, that uh, we're not here for ourselves. We're really here for each other. The Wangai Mutamathai House is going to be a living memorial space. One of the things we want to see at the Wangai Mutamathai House is a space where everybody feels welcome. A space that welcomes you and has a journey or an experience for you. The Wangari Mathai House is a kind of place where people will come to get inspired, especially young people, to get inspired to learn about her and to go and to start doing their little thing, whatever their little thing is. There is a generation of Kenyans, let alone Africans and global citizens, who don't know who she was and that it would be wonderful to have them inspired by her example. And by being a part of it, by contributing and getting involved, you will be part of making our world a better place. And nothing, God knows we need great examples and great places to engage our energies. And here's one, perhaps the best one, the Wangari Mutamathai House.